Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Armageddon Empires. We are the Imperials. And uh, mostly doing, I mean, no one, what comes with the Imperials is a little bit of bureaucracy, right? And uh, we've been kind of addressing the bureaucracy. They were like, you gotta fill out all your paperwork to transfer these four dragons into his command. He's not wrong, right? We gotta fill out the paperwork, date of birth, you know, eye color, next of kin for these eviscerators. We gotta be, we gotta be, this is just the Imperial way, right? This is what we're trying to spread into the wasteland. The mutants, no, they don't do it. They don't do it. No, they don't do it. But we do, we care. What else? Well, we don't really know what else is going on out there. We've got um, Valerie, I wanna say her name is? Valentine, my cousin's name is Valerie. Hello, Valerie, you're never gonna watch this. Um, Valentine Kusanaki, or Valentina, as they might say sort of here in Germany. Um, yeah, she's out there scouting, basically just looking for the next, can we just snipe all of these, uh, <laughs> all of their outposts? Maybe, it would be a shame to win that way. It'd be nice to like have like a good knockdown drag out fight. Um, one thing that is scary is like, this army, right, this is our main tough army, if you will. Not actually that tough. Um, not actually that tough. It's got, uh, this is like, they're pretty good units, but like, if we encounter an army where it's, you know, two freaking gigantic super units backed up by artillery or something, we could be in some big trouble there. We could be in some big trouble. So it's something definitely to kind of be aware of. Uh, we would like to move this guy to where we can flesh his army out. Um, but again, it's about supply. It's about like, where are we moving back down here? We can't go anywhere. We can't go anywhere. We move him up over here. It's gonna take forever. So many action points. <sighs> so many action points. But you know, maybe it's a thing that we're just gonna have to go ahead and do. Well, let's end our turn. Enough. Jibba Jabba. Maybe we actually will get into a fight over here. Um, nope, not today. We got so many things that we should just go all in on them. Wow, we're gonna win that one. Yeah, way to waste all your points, free mutants. I feel like they're getting scared. So, two things. Adam. Adam. Very laggy to move when you're in this view. We're gonna come up. Boop, boop. An abandoned gas station. We're just gonna continue, actually. Uh, I don't think I, I care that much. Nice to have all that movement, though, I gotta say. Having, it's actually, that really cements it, right? It's five action points, but we can actually move this army, which is kind of nice. Um, we're also gonna spend action points to move you. And we are gonna move you very slowly, blah, blah, blah. So we can get you over there, because then, we can have, uh, we can start adding in some genetics. For example, I mean, God Soldier. I can make a God Soldier? What do you even do? Unit can regenerate three damage at the beginning of each combat round and all damage between game turns. Allow unit to make two attacks against the same target. Holy crap. This thing is insane. This thing is insane. And it's a threshold of what does it even say to make it? it does not you need the resources, which we don't have. But I mean, we can give all this stuff to our heroes. Ascension mutagen, plus two fate, plus one tactics, genetics, technology, mind machine, eye face, interface, plus one attack, plus one defense. Just enhances armor. This is our geneticist here. Control cocoons, armor and mecha. Like, I was expecting this to all be infantry, but it's actually not. Plus three hit points, plus three resistance. This stuff is tight. We gotta get all of our dudes equipped with all this stuff immediately. Immediately. Um, but meanwhile, we can continue going for technology. I do like this one. I do like this one. I'll just go for it. It's unlikely to happen, but when we have the points just lying around, we should do it. I'm going to save up our tech because we can make this god guy. 
don't even need the humans that much. The free mutants seem to be doing quite well for them. Wow, quite well for themselves because they are spending a lot of resources. I don't know where, how exactly um, they're getting away with that. So, I just want to move you and get you into the base. If we move you, like that's kind of it. I feel like, are you not stealthed again? I'm gonna use her as a scout so we can actually do things. Um, like, I mean, probably just play another Emperor's Own. I kind of want to just, I think I'm gonna ditch some of these cards. I really just want to draw more cards. Reconnaissance. Yeah. That we want. That we really want. Okay, that is our turn. We're gonna build this up so this guy can actually try and make a god soldier. Now, <laughs> I don't know how it works. Let's find out next time. Is it the dice roll? If you fail it, do you lose your materials? No, not you. Human. I actually need it less than other things. I get to go first again. What's great too is like this also saps the stuff from your opponents. Not enough resources. No, we're one short. Yeah, it is a four and a five die challenge. Total die of nine. That's not going to be that hard. Plus one attack, plus one defense. <sighs> this might be worth making now. It does spend a lot of my technology. I would like a god soldier, <laughs> I think. Uh, Biomecha. So maybe we don't do that. Um, we did deploy you. Got another Reco, which is great. Uh, supply, we've explored to the limit of supply. And again, we can't go there. But I am curious if there are units wandering around out there. So we're going to have to use you. There is. Spider bots. Interesting. So, we can then take assumption. These are the machines, right? They're very weak, but they're strong reconnaissance range one. They're very fast as well. Um, we know the machine empire then is over here. We know they are. Which means somewhere over here is our opponent. Somewhere over here is our opponent. Uh, they're both our opponents. Is the mutants. Adam Wraith, no supply. But that's fine, right? Commando does not require. Go ahead. I do not even mind nine units. Holy crap. We have found their army. And it is massive. Okay. This is what I was talking about. We are going to run into some crap like this. Where they've got a tactical genius leading. Jesus. Command rate of eight, but it doesn't matter. You've got all these berserker... Shock attack, juggler flank attacks, termagants, look at this freaking thing. 10 hit points, dragon. They've got their pack artillery, which are really, really, really nasty. Um, can you not move? Oh boy. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna for sure, for sure lose these guys. Also, it appears like they don't they don't heal? Do your units just not heal ever? Well, we're gonna need to move you and get prepared uh, for some serious business. Use all my action points. Mm. Well, we have to end the turn. Um, I don't want to... Lay Siege? They have launched an attack. 
Yeah. Uh, we're going to die. <laughs> For sure, our eviscerators aren't going to stand a chance. We've got no action points, so we can't actually uh, do any fights. Start the round. Yeah, sure. <sighs> wow. Pack artillery with a bad roll. He gets another attack. Um. Oh boy. Why are we... Why are my units weaker here? No, I don't know. Disable Disrupt? Weird. We don't have any action points. Jesus Christ. Now, I guess the best thing to do here is just try and deal as much damage as possible. I mean, maybe killing units is the best. Maybe we should just go... But if I can, like, if I can kill this Gargantuous... It's only got four defense dice to our six attack. It's not that much. Maybe we just try and, uh... Kill this juggler. I think we do that. Nice. We did hit him. We did damage him. We can kill him. But we are definitely going to get wrecked. I should have used my stealth person. <laughs> oh god, the rockets. Dude, the pack. So much damage. Yeah. So much damage. Didn't kill us. And then they get their stupid area attack. These guys are gonna mess us up, man. Uh, yeah. How many hit points do I have? Six. Yeah, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna survive it. <sighs> At least they lose their area attacks now. The game is uh, getting very slow. Um, what the hell? We've been committed or disabled or something. Yeah, combined arms bonus. Do we not get another uh, movement here? Shock attack. I did not know about the shock attack. And uh, yeah, that area effect. Jesus, these things are so strong. Why don't we have any artillery? They missed us, but they're going to kill us for sure. <laughs> it's not really a question here. Oh boy. I wish this was a little bit quicker there. Yeah, Termagant, go ahead. Stomp us. There's no chance that we're going to be able to survive all these attacks. I'm just going to let it go. Okay, well we found something here. It's not their actual base. How? We're still alive. Huh. But then the Gargantuan is going to come in. Should have used my stupid fate dice. Uh, HP of 8. We still have 8 HP? Who's, who's alive here? God, they just get so... This is just ridiculous. Start round. They get the attacker bonus. They get to go first. They are going with their pack artillery. We're going to need... Yeah, they still got through, which means they disrupted us, which is unfortunate. But we do get to go. And we should be able to kill this guy, right? Nice. Destroyed. So we all was not lost. We did lose all of our dragons, but all, I mean, they cost action points. We could just keep mass producing our dragons here. Yeah, well, unfortunately, there, I mean, there's no way we're gonna survive another round. The dragons are a big old pile of hit points though, aren't they? Look at this, they just taken it. It's really too bad to lose the hero. He's very fast. This is the danger of not having reconnaissance. Gargantuous. 
Yep, damage times two. Yeah. So, I mean, we kind of have a witness of what their army is composed of, right? These pack rockets and pack artillery are really bad. Um, yeah, they're going to try to capture and kill us. I can't imagine us surviving, yeah. Okay, he's been imprisoned. Adam Wraith. You have been imprisoned. Too bad. We'll go ahead and do that. Machine Empire is going to beat us. And we actually almost didn't get second there. Yeah, okay. So we did... There's a war redoubt which is camouflaged. Okay. That's interesting. It does collect stuff. Is this their... This is... Okay, this is actually their base. This is their... Uh, their starting base. It must be. If it has 111 over here, it must... It must be. Now, we do have our assassin over here, right? Stealth of 7. She can assassinate. But the problem is, is if she goes inside there and does anything, they're going to know she's there. They are going to mess her up. For real. Um, I really wish we had... <sighs> range of one. That means they have to go into the back line. We need to find... Yeah, more... Master scientists. We don't need you, man. I need... An Imperial Firebase is actually a great thing to get. <sighs> what we want to do is probably deploy it out over here. We need to be able to move over in this direction with this army. Which uh, does not heal. Repair cost three. Jesus, did not even know that. <sighs> okay, well, we'll keep trying to pick up more uh, tactics here. Fine. Um, did not move my reconnaissance guy, but he's got his eyes open. Uh, psychic attack on you. Okay. Nothing much happened there. I really would like to go first. Really would like to go first. Please don't screw me. Thank you. Uh, why? Well. Okay, first thing we can do, geneticist, six die challenge, we have nine die, I mean I'm going for it, Ugh. and it does spend all the resources, we're one short, ouch, 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 what we need to do, okay, we gotta give the ascension mutagen to him, we have to. Uh, it would also be nice to have more, more tech coming in, but uh, that's going to be okay. Well, that's that's basically all of our stuff. Um, we don't need a, a second technologist or geneticist, right? You already do that, technologist. I mean, having a second geneticist might be useful. Hmm... I... Th I because I want to draw more cards, right? I want to get access to some artillery-type units. But that's not going to happen now, so instead we'll just try and... Uh... Nice, go for that. Yeah, we'll accept that. More tactics is good. Now, this mech down here would be actually much better served... Uh in the front lines <laughs> and just sitting back here defending same thing with this thing mm. what we need is a second row here we'll just spend these we got three and ooh, nice roll there where was that last time um, what we're gonna need from you man is this 
and we are going to put it onto you. Ugh, you're not at a goddamn outpost. It's very annoying that there's no outpost there, I have to say. I have to say, it's quite annoying. Okay, well, we're going to give it to you, nonetheless. Can't move you back. <sighs> Did we move the, uh, the Imperial Firebase out there? Do we go for that now? Or do we just go for building up? Not enough resources. I don't know, we're short on technology. Uh, that That is going to be a problem. We are going to continuously be short on technology. But unfortunately, if we want to do anything about it, we have to put an outpost and then a resource collector. That is not good. I mean, the Imperial Keep could do that for us. And maybe it's worth it. Send out our tactician for this? I don't really like that. We can move our reconnaissance unit over there. Maybe it's worth doing. We can really jumpstart our tech and all that stuff. Tiger breakthrough. Um, that is quite good. That is really, really, really good. Okay, well, we're going to use you for sure, my friend. Let's go ahead and end our turn. You're definitely going into this army. All of a sudden, materials are much more common than before. Ah, we go third. Third, ugh, really, really sucks. can't believe we freaking lost. No, I want to move my stupid dragon guard back to here, which you can't do. And we're going to move you up to there. Because we need more resource generation. The Imperial Keep. It is a bit wasted. But at least it would be protected and... Yeah, we have to use that one there. What is our costs for this? Where'd you go? Just scrolling right past it. Eight, eight, and eight. So two turns from now, we could potentially use this. Okay. Do I even need somebody here? No, deploy dragons. Um, I will discard a card because I really don't care about you. Go. Except, I will take another dragon here. Alright, nice to have a little bit of backup there. I mean, they are pretty beefy. Low defense, but pretty strong attack. And we want to get this army to be full. But also, we have almost a full front row here. What we need is artillery units. Units that can hang out in the back. And do we just not have any of them? No, well, we have to end our turn nonetheless. God, did the timer go off already or did I just fail to set a timer? It's possible. We'll take one more turn. We'll take one more turn. We'll use this stuff. I'd really like to get that first turn. Now we get second. It is painful. Now they're just up there building up, right? That is that is what they're doing. They're building their armies up larger and larger. We need you to be here. Can't deploy this. We don't have the action points for it anyways. Anyways. 
What we can do is start moving you guys out. Um, actually, yeah, you're ready to go. We can start moving you guys out. Let's do that. So we can get you up to where? Probably Rock Desert would have been ideal, but I did go a long way around. Well, we can go here and we can pick up some resources. There is something there for us. All right, great. Let's go to the end of the turn. We don't need humans nearly as much as we used to. Which is interesting. I think the mutants rely on the humans the most because they do all kinds of weird stuff. All kinds of weird stuff. Right, so. We're going to spend a ton of resources right away. Okay. Looks like we're going to send you here. Drop that Imperial Keep. Boop. Um, we did discard the other thing, which is kind of a shame. Um, Rico, I'm going to move back down here. I just want to have some kind of idea. Like, if they, like, right, just move him up to here. Or here. Just have some idea if they do move in. I can at least, like, emergency deploy some, some backup units there. Um, and we are out of movement. So that's going to be it for this episode. Once again, we, well, we encounter the enemy. They are strong. So we know we need to build up quite a bit before we can actually go engage them. Again, we can't go through the middle. So we're just going to have to kind of hang out here and uh, we don't know what's inside. Actually, maybe it's a good idea to move you in this direction in case they move over here we can actually spot them. I'd love a secondary reconnaissance unit for this area. But really, we're just going to have to get strong enough that we can fight anybody who comes our way. So I hope you guys stick around for that. Till then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I just clicked the button instead of uh, ending the episode. So there you go. I am, in fact, a human and not just a robot here for your entertainment. Take care, everybody. 